The University of Texas has been pursuing sustainability in our operations for many years, with over 1,400 research labs on campus, turning our attention now to how we make those operations as efficient as possible, that's a really key initiative. The Green Labs initiative started in 2010 as a program to get researchers to be more energy efficient and conserve resources. The program was a success. We interviewed a number of researchers and asked them why they participated in the program. I mean, I think it's important that we all be aware of you know, what we're doing to the environment. So from my standpoint, I think it's, it's important to be kind <laughs> to our environment and reducing costs. And labs are huge generators of waste. Um, and so I think it's just part of our responsibility um, as being part of this planet to reduce the amount of waste. I think the university has been focusing quite a bit more on sustainability issues. I mean, the replacement of all of our light bulbs with, with more efficient fluorescent bulbs is one great example of that. And that happened in, felt like a day, right? So I think there's a new philosophy on campus to maximize our benefits while also being as sustainable as possible. I participated in the Greens Labs program because it seemed like a, a good idea to have inventory of how um, green, how sustainable the practices were in the university's laboratories. It seems like a, an avenue where we can make some uh, gains, progress in that area. And it seemed a relatively innocuous thing to do. I think the value of being a green lab is a way to be more efficient, um, cost savings, and protecting the environment. My excitement about the Green Labs program is that it's very easy to participate and it's a new program that sets UT apart from other universities. First of all, a lot of the activities that are part of the Green Labs program we were already doing, so it made a lot of sense to um, be a part of the program. Some of the practices, uh, green practices in our lab include um, reducing plastic use by loading our tips, uh, reloading tips, and um, we've reduced the use of um, non-biodegradable scintillation fluids, thereby reducing the toxic hazmat uh, waste amounts. Um, other things include turning the lights off simply when we leave. I mean, we produce, you know, a fraction of the waste we would otherwise by using microplate approaches instead of full-blown, large-volume extractions of certain chemicals, for example. That generates a huge amount less waste. We try to reduce energy costs wherever we can. So, for example, um, when we um, autoclave materials, rather than using the large autoclave that uses a lot of materials, we use a smaller autoclave for smaller batches. And so we're trying to be cognizant of that. We collect um, a lot of materials together for larger applications. So, um, so for example, when we order materials, we wait till we get a larger order and then place those orders to reduce shipping. Um, shipping costs and also shipping materials that come into the lab. All the hot plates in our laboratory are on timers, so you just can't turn a hot plate on and go away for days and be cranking all that energy out. Right? We can only dial up a certain number of hours after which the hot plate kicks off because our processes don't need longer than that. Reducing waste in general, reducing costs um, to the lab, to the university are all part of why we were motivated um, to be part of this program. And, and we have had a lot of these um, components already implemented in our lab, but it's a great source for learning about new ways to save money and to reduce the impact by checking the website and seeing what other labs are, are doing as well. It's not hard at all to participate in the Green Labs program. Simply fill out the form, discuss with your team about ways to save, and teach others and your colleagues about it. If we want to get more people involved in the program, I think that what we really need to do is get the people who are doing the lab work more involved, and that means uh, getting involved with the lab managers, getting them on board. Power in numbers. If uh, a bunch of people make a small change, all of a sudden it adds up to uh, a significant savings. I would submit that what we're doing in our lab alone is probably not making a bit of difference in terms of the overall economics of the university or impact on the environment. But if there are 450 labs and they all take small measures, then all of a sudden that adds up. What more could we do as a university to support Green Labs? I think we need more publicity. We need to have more awareness. Um, we need to be talking about it. Um, and I think until people are more aware about the program, uh, it's going to be hard to have widespread uh, participation. I am very interested in seeing the Green Labs program continue. I think it's a uh, wonderful program for UT and for me in particular. Absolutely, the Green Labs initiative is the right thing for the university to be doing.
We hope you will join the Green Labs initiative. Please contact us for more information.